What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Given. I do roller coaster videos, and today we are going to Cedar Point. I live a whole 10 minutes away, so might as well hit it up because it's my only day off this week, so or at least this weekend. But we're heading there right now. Possibly gonna be meeting up with a friend, but as for right now, I am going solo. So today there's about a 40% chance of rain, and right now it's nice and sunny. But when it's a 40% chance, it's not quite 50. 50 is about when you know you're definitely gonna see some rain. 30, you don't really have to worry about it as much, but when it's at a 40% chance, you never know what the weather is actually gonna do. And it does look kinda dark up ahead up here. But let's just see where the day takes us because I have only gotten to ride a few rides here this season. So let's see how many rides we can possibly ride in one day on a Saturday shortly after the opening for the season. All right, guys, turning on to the Cedar Point Causeway right now, and it doesn't seem like there's that much traffic, so we might get away with riding everything pretty reasonably today. I'm not too sure how crowds are gonna be today because it is a Saturday, you know, I mean, it's it's still early in the season. There's still kids in school. There's still a lot of stuff going on. Well, I do see some traffic up here now, come to think of it. It looks like it is backed up a little bit at the traffic light to get onto the actual proper causeway. But if it's anything like opening week in last weekend we'll see if anything's really even open but I hear from an inside source who's already at the park it is 10 15 so the park has been open now for a little over an hour for early entry but I just woke up not long ago I didn't make it out here for early entry that some rides were actually closed because there was lightning in the area so I guess we'll have to find out when we get there and see what might or might not be running there's never a bad day at Cedar Point every day at Cedar point is a good day no matter what and we can check out a lot of stuff even if the rides aren't running for the weather but let's cross our fingers now and hope that everything is open so here we are up at the gate to get in and it looks like we can kind of just drive right in there's not a whole lot of uh, traffic now the couple of these bays look like they have some people waiting but we'll go over to the one whichever one looks like it's moving the fastest right here we do have people out here directing traffic and it looks like the parking lot's about a quarter of the way full maybe about half the way full so it's not too unmanageable at the moment but let's just see what it's like once we get inside it is 10 23 right now and i am just approaching the main gate so let's see how long it takes to get in from this point because it does seem like it is decently busy at the moment. So going through security, going through the main gate where they scan my pass to get in. Let's time it out, 10.23. Let's see how long this takes. All right, made it through security. And now the last part is to get through the gate. It is 10.25, two minutes, 10.26, three minutes. All right, 10.27 and we're through the gate in the park. So that didn't take too long at all, but these midways are very, very packed right now. It is a nice change of pace from last weekend where it's not super windy. It looks like everything is running today. Hey, Rod. How you doing? How are you doing? Look who I just found. Hey! Isn't this a nice change from last weekend where you don't have to wear like a hoodie yeah. and it's like, it's not too and it's hot. not too hot, yeah. it's not too windy, like... <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even know what today's game Where plan is, so no idea. So what is up? Yeah. Not your normal guy, theme parts. I don't know, was I supposed to say something next? Something not normal? <laughs> well, I think that was not normal. So. That was not normal. Um, no, it was... Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to be here, and it's, it's always a, a very good day. Hot day. Which is very different from last yeah. time. Yeah. We so when we were here opening weekend, literally just last weekend, it was cold, it was windy, and now we're walking around just t shirt and shorts, and I'm actually sweating. So yeah. that's how rapidly the weather in Ohio changes. So if you're budgeting for a trip to Cedar Point, dress accordingly because one day it could be 50 degrees, the next day it could be 80 degrees. Don't really have a game plan for the day, just kind of going with the flow and hitting whatever. But yeah. It's, um, uh, it's going to be fun. It's part two. Part it's two, it's basically, part two. it's the redemption to opening day because nothing was really open opening day. Looks like Raptor just went down. There's people exiting the queue or it's just too long to wait. I don't know. Are they exiting? Oh, they are exiting the queue. Yeah. Oh, it is going empty. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see if this is redemption to opening day part two, but yeah. let's. <laughs> well, so far it hasn't been a whole lot yet. Right. I just got here anyway, so. When I 
tell you, there are a lot of high school groups here today, marching bands, choirs, that's what I mean. There are a lot of high school groups here today. So one of the cool things that you can check out when you're at Cedar Point is all of the local entertainment where they bring in kids from these high schools to do marching band sequences and they march down the main midways. I wish my band would have done something like that. We did it at Disney, not at Cedar Point, but I kind of wish we would have come here to do something like that because that, that would have just been so cool. It would seem as though I've lost Trent. I don't know where he went. I was getting B-roll of Raptor and he disappeared. You can hear the announcements now that they are shutting rides down right now for weather in the area because it does look like a storm front is rolling in behind me. So let's cross our fingers and hope we can get rides on something today. But either way, it's gonna be a fun day at Cedar Point. It's always a fun day at Cedar Point. So Derby Dogs is one of the new places for this season. This used to be a subway but it's not open just yet. So that's one of the new things you'll find here at Cedar Point for the 2022 season. I'm excited to try Derby Dogs when it does open because it's the replacement sort of more or less for Pink's when Cedar Point lost the license to have Pink's in the park. They wanted to replace their hot dog offering because there wasn't really a place in the park to come get a hot dog and that's a common theme park food. So Derby Dogs is the solution. They got rid of their subway and put in that. So once that opens for the season, I'm super excited to try it out. Everything around us is currently down for inclement weather because of that. So I touched a little bit of base on this on opening day, but this is the current status of Dragster. As you can see, this is your confirmation that this ride is not going to be open at all this season. I talked a little bit about how it may or may not have a future this park, considering it did just have a near deadly accident last season and it's not gonna be open this season. This ride costs Cedar Point millions of dollars a year to run. It is a big maintenance cost and operational cost. So we might not see this ride ever reopen. This might be our affirmation that this ride is permanently closed, which would be a really, really sad loss for the park. I'm not denying that by any means, but at this point, it's just very uncertain where this ride may end up. And in the same Reich, it's kind of sad to see that the world's second tallest roller coaster is just standing but not operating. Right. You know, I mean, you have this absolutely gargantuan roller coaster that's bigger than some buildings and cities that you'll find across the United States. And it's just standing but not operating, which makes me wonder if we'll ever see the ride reopen. It'd be a huge loss, very sad loss to Cedar Point to see this ride go. But just because they have no plans of opening it at all this season, it really makes me wonder what the ride's future is. So if you guys want, I'll do a dedicated video talking about Dragster and why I think it might not be staying. Just drop a comment below if that's something you wanna see because it's something I'm gonna do either way. <laughs> but not today. Today's focus is kind of recapping everything that's new at the park and trying, hopefully, you know, to ride something today, just like opening day. Let's see if we can ride anything. But the plan is to try to ride as much as possible once the weather clears and things start to reopen. So what's your catchphrase? Let's go. <laughs> and walking by Pipe Scream, it seems as though it might be valued right there in the station. So, oops. So it does say delayed for weather conditions, but there are people on the platform that you can't see from here kind of calling it down for maintenance. So where is the lie? So here's one of the new things on the meal plan this year is Miss Keats. And I know Miss Keats was always on the meal plan, but this year, it's more of a Chipotle style kind of eatery where you come in, choose your bowl, whether you want rice, salad, or chips. And I opted for chips in this one and you can do it just like Chipotle, like you have steak, you have chicken, and you have pork, and then you have whatever toppings you wanna go on top of it. So you come in, menu board is right there. You can see the burrito bowl is on the meal plan. Otherwise it is gonna cost you almost $17. And this, is the portion that you get with it. So it's a fairly decent portion, just like it would be if you got something from Chipotle. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the beans are kind of soggy. They don't really drain them before they put them on the chips. So your chips kind of come out a little bit on the soggy side. Personally, that doesn't bother me too much if you eat it quick enough, but nobody really likes soggy chips. So just be aware when you come in here, if you order the chip bowl. This is kind of what you're dealing with. So what are your thoughts? Oh. What are you thoughts uh, about Miss Keats Smokehouse? I'm still not a fan. I don't Absolutely know. Absolutely not. So a fan. I never came here before to try it out. I like I, I honestly didn't even it's knew. It's better than last year. I but never it's knew not it existed good. even last year. So I never came to eat here. But this year it is a Chipotle style kind of thing. 
I'm not the biggest fan in the world of it though. Like it's not terrible by any means, but just not my thing by any means at all. So yeah. no, if I you're agree. at the park and in the mood for some Chipotle style, then sure go for it. But I wouldn't say spend your money there. There's a lot of better options like Backbeat, like the farmhouse that you should go to instead. But it's time for White Claw. No laws when you're drinking claws and that means it's time for my first ride of the season on Maverick. It is 11.52 a.m. and we are at one and a quarter hours wait for Maverick. So let's see how long this actually takes and see if that wait time is accurate. About 15 minutes in and we've made it up to almost the cattle pens. Yeah, it's gonna be a long line. <laughs> it is gonna be a long line. It did say about an hour and 15 minutes, so let's see. It's about 15 minutes in now, so if that's about accurate, we should have about an hour to go. I have to complete the, the brand, otherwise. Right, yeah, exactly. It doesn't work. True. <laughs> we gotta go through all this, all of that in there, and then all the way up there to the station. It has officially been one hour since we got in line. Yes. Yes, so this very much may well be an hour and 15 minutes because we are up near the top towards getting into station right now. It feels a lot better though when you don't have so many people, right, when you have someone to talk to. Yeah. And when you have some alcohol in your body. You know? Exactly, when you come to a park solo, kind of like I did this morning before we met up, it's like, I have to entertain myself while I'm in line, but when you got somebody else, the time does fly by really, really fast. I don't have trouble entertaining myself, even though Instagram has plenty of content. On. That is very, very and true. I make my own stuff on, on Instagram, so that's, that's true. Problem. And speaking of which, you guys should absolutely follow both of us. Obviously, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel. Everything will be linked down in the description below. Find his Instagram, all that fun stuff. But for now, let's ride Maverick. Yeah. All there. Uh, out of here, sit up right, hold on tight, and enjoy your ride on Maverick. So that took us exactly an hour, exactly literally right hour. on the dot, and we are getting on Maverick in row five, which is yeah. one of the best rows on the entire ride. Is so it, it is I back don't know. seats. I don't care. The back seats on Maverick are where it is at. <laughs> so let's go. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Vlog inception. Vlog inception. Vlog inception. I'm done though, so it's <laughs> kind of vlog inception. Oh well. So that was my first ride of the season on Maverick. You got to ride it for Ohio State Day, right? It was like a walk-on on Ohio yeah. State Day, but I hit it like the perfect time. So we just waited an hour, which was totally worth it. It's always worth it. If it's an hour, it's a must do, but it's time for another drink because I want to feel toasty to go ride Seal Vengeance. So this is Mr. Zachary all the way from Australia Woo! serving me my White Claw today. How's it feel to be up here in Ohio? Pretty great. Pretty great? <laughs> I like Australia, but I love it here. Yeah, yeah, Sounds yeah. good. See you soon, guys. See you I'll soon. So when you come to the Last Chance Saloon here at Cedar Point, go see Zachary. He's a really cool guy all the way here from Australia to work at Cedar freaking Point. That is so cool. I love meeting internationals because Cedar Point is kind of a melting pot. There are a lot of internationals that come to work here. But all the way from Australia, that's like literally the opposite side of the world from Ohio. So... We got a two hour wait for Steel Vengeance. But there's no laws when you're drinking claws, so let's get this two hour wait done. been in line for what like an hour and a half not even no not even not even and we're already at the walkers hour and 10 minutes 
hour and 10, hour and 20 for Vengeance. We're already at the lockers. So Vengeance behind me here makes you put all your loose articles into a locker because this ride is so aggressive. They don't want any loose articles, period. You actually have to go through a metal detector to get on this ride. It's kind of crazy how it's set up. But it really only about an hour and 20 minutes from the sign off front said about two hours. So that's not bad at all for Vengeance. Vlogception. Vlogception. <laughs> the nice thing about these lockers is that they are free, but my phone's got to go in it, so I can't vlog anything else from this point for you guys. So here we go. Hey! And in you guys go. I'm back. The cool thing about Vengeance is once you're off, you just go back to the entrance to go grab your stuff right out of your locker. That's where I found you guys. Love you. And yeah, that is Steel Vengeance. That was the first ride of the season. How was that for you? So good. So good. I mean, it's, it is just absolutely insane, but so much fun. I, I mean, mean, yeah. It does and, hurt too, I have to admit. It hurts a little bit. It does hurt a little bit. If you're flying into your, if your bar isn't down enough and you're like flying into it, it is kind of painful, but it is a good painful. All right, so you start going down the stairs and then locker retrieval is over here. Right next so to recap on things from opening day, there is a new, well it's not new, it's an old covered bridge from the old antique car ride. The cool thing about this bridge is that the antique cars used to traverse this bridge and now they've turned it into a walkway because of the new farmhouse restaurant right off to the side here. And this farmhouse restaurant is actually a really, really nice addition to the park. I was kind of sad when they announced they were taking out the cars to put this in, but after eating here a few times, it's actually honestly rather delicious and I'm not mad about it. Like I thought I would be, you know, to remove a ride to put in a restaurant. Let's just cross our fingers. That's not what they do with Wicked Twister because in that instance, I will be a little bit more upset. Hey. Taking out a coaster to put in a restaurant Say. is is a different level of hurt, but yeah. to take out, you we know, a car ride. Autos. We don't right. need, we don't need two, two Cadillac cars. So I wasn't like... so mad about it to put in the farmhouse and the farmhouse restaurant is great. But don't put in a restaurant where Wicked Twister used the sand because that's when I'm going to be a little bit more upset. Like to take out a coaster to put in a restaurant. I don't know about that. That there is the farmhouse restaurant with all kinds of new seating. And it's a great place to kind of hang out and vibe and eat a meal. The one thing that upsets me about the wild turnip is that's one of the few places in the park that you could have gone to go get a giant turkey leg. Before? Before they turned okay, it into the wild turnip. Had a giant turkey leg? It was disgusting. Not the grossest well, thing I've ever eaten. Really? From but where, it though? was at Indiana Beach. Okay, so that was Indiana so that's Beach. Why. But here at Cedar Point, that wild turnip is where you used to go to get the turkey legs. And now I don't know where to go to get a turkey leg <laughs> because it's all vegan and vegetarian. So that's yeah, my little... there aren't any turkey legs here. I don't think are there, there are anymore. I don't know where to get them if not. Food. Why do we not have one? Really, honestly, I don't even know. Maybe I'm missing it at, you know, let me know in the comments below. Let us both know in the comments. Yeah. If you know where to get a turkey leg at Cedar Point, it is not the wild turnip anymore because that place is now vegan and vegetarian. So I don't know. All of this stuff is now open because when we came by on opening day, none of it was operating but now there are people standing outside you can go into the shops on the frontier trail you can go into fort sandusky all that fun stuff but none of this was open on opening day so if you're at the park now they should be good to go for the season two white calls wasn't enough had to stop for a tequila sunrise at the trail tavern and it is delicious by the way i don't know what tequila they use it's not too strong but it's got a really nice balance of sweetness and bitterness from the alcohol so i will take it a beer sometimes is like 10 for a small boy are you feeling me <laughs> cool the beautiful thing about cedar point versus carowinds is that you can actually open carry your liquor here yes do you remember like carowinds uh -huh. they said they were like you can't but take you this can, anywhere can because beer or wine beer or wine okay. we're allowed at carowinds and i don't know if that's something to do with state regulations and laws or not but at cedar point it, it doesn't matter it does like it does one state you can carry beer and wine but the other state you couldn't carry anything. liquor so no, i don't even think you could carry anything that's but really weird. The other one you couldn't carry liquor. Yeah, because so. Carowinds is in two different states, so they have to go by either or state's law, and I think they go with the more aggressive of the two. Yeah, the harshest. So, but here in Ohio, you can open carry your liquor and just take it in the line with you. As long as it's finished by the time you get on the ride, you're good to go. So uh, that's what I enjoy about Cedar Point versus some of these other parks, is that you can kind of just do whatever you want. It works out. You even can take them in the line, usually? Yes, so, as long as they're finished by the time you get up to platform. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so... 
if yeah. we're gonna go do Rougarou, which I think we're about to do right now, we'll have these finished by the time the line, by the time we get through the line, we should be good to go nice and toasty on the coasters. So yeah. I stole that word from you, shamelessly. <laughs> it's a fun word to say. I love, I love using that to describe. I like feeling toasty. It's a, it's a family friendly word for, you know, how you really feel. So Merch coming soon, <laughs> toasty. <laughs> toasty, woo. <laughs> Red Garter Saloon is open for the season. So if you ever woo. wanna go get some more drinks, or popcorn or see some live entertainment that's your go-to right there popcorn that, that's the best place for popcorn for too. popcorn and uh lusty lills is another good en en entertainment yes. Yes. facility here at the absolutely. park absolutely so palace theater good old palace theater so we're at cedar yeah, point and making friends today this is skylar skylar do you want to shout out your channel for the viewers real quick my channel is called karen polly karen polly go check her out <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hi. How you doing? Um, I'm here. You're here? It's always a good day at Cedar Point, right? Sure. Love you, buddy. Seeing my man Tyler Gaskill, that made my day. But here goes the first ride of the season on Rougarou and the first ride I ever operated back in 2019 when I was here for my first season at Cedar Point as a ride operator. So this ride does definitely have a special place in my heart, and I do really, really love it, even though it's kind of slept on and gets a lot of hate. All right. What's up, Misty? <laughs> As a former ride operator, I know lots of ride operators, so it's cool to get shout outs from them whenever I'm on the platform and they're like spieling or if they're just working the ride or whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, we're about to head to Lusty Lil's. What's up? What's up? And go catch some live entertainment, but I really have to pee. Bathroom is the first order, Lusty Lil's is the second order. We met even more friends from Yay! the vlog. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? If you guys remember from my opening day vlog, these guys were with us at Val Raven the whole time. So that's Tyler. Get back to entrance. But yeah. It is hot. It's very, very hot today. Taking the Cedar Creek Hollow Pass once again with our friends from Indiana. Like I said, this used to be the turnpike, or not the turnpike cars, what are they called? The Cadillac cars, is that what they were? Cars, yeah. The Cadillac cars used to go right through that little bridge, but now it's an open walkway and it's it just makes getting around Frontier Town a lot more accessible and a lot easier. <laughs> That was Lusty Lil's. That was yes. one of my, or I shouldn't say it's my first live entertainment show at Cedar Point, but usually when I come here for the live entertainment, it's Halloween. So we do like the haunts and the yeah. shows that, that they have going on then. 
But that is live entertainment at Cedar Point, and I'm thoroughly impressed. They did a very, very good job, especially for being as early as it is in the season. They must have worked, I don't know how long, on all that rehearsing and all that fun stuff. I they were rehearsing last week when we were here. I, I do remember we heard else. them, didn't we? No, I was or, listening for them, but I didn't hear I don't remember. I just know, like, they... they I don't know, but they, they it's very clear they put in a lot of hard work into yeah. putting that together for the whole season. So that's it something is, very cool. It is cheesy beyond belief, and that's what makes it That's so what makes good. it so rich. It's like <laughs> it's definitely something that you should check out when you come to Cedar Point is the live entertainment. I would I would thoroughly recommend it. So I would definitely recommend it. You know, but, if you have some downtime in the day, maybe you're done with riding or maybe you just ate and wait want to wait to go on a ride. Catch a show at Lusty Lil's, or especially, beer. or get sit a beer. Down and sit in the air conditioning. And enjoy the live entertainment. Yep. So let's check out the farmhouse kitchen and grill. This is the new restaurant here at Cedar Point. I know we were here opening day, but there's a lot on the menu that they have to offer that maybe we didn't check out. So let's take another gander. One of the big reasons I always, always, always recommend getting the dining plan if you add it to your pass or even if you get the one day addition to your ticket is because you can get a full entree like this on the meal plan or with your dining pass for the day and it's included. You get all this chicken, the chili, literally any sides you could possibly think of and it's all on the meal plan. The whole meal looks very nice. This whole area now sets an entirely new dynamic for the farmhouse, for Chick-fil-A, and for the pizza place right over here. It's a wonderful place to come and just sit down, chill out, and vibe. Like, what do you think of the new farmhouse and the whole seating area it's, in general? It's good. I the only My only complaint is I wish it was inside at least a little bit. A little but, bit of inside seating would do great. Yeah, but at the same time, someone did say something about while COVID was right as they were building it or deciding to make the plans for it and stuff. That's and also true. And they didn't true. know what was going to happen. Yeah. So, of course, outdoor makes more sense with COVID. So. But I do like the whole dynamic that it adds just to the area. It's a nice place to sit, yeah. even if you're not eating. I mean, it adds dining area for Chick-fil-A, which never had anything really to begin with. More, more atmosphere, for did. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those cars were just kind of there. They didn't really have any theme. Yeah. The farmhouse actually adds, like, a little bit of a charisma to the area, if you could call it that, that I really, really, really like. So, it's a solid addition to Cedar Point. Sad to see a ride go to replace it. But that's why we're crossing our fingers that it's not a restaurant that's replacing Wicked Twister yeah. because that's when the fanboys like me will start rioting. Unless they want to put in a restaurant that goes under a roller coaster. Right. That would, that would be cool if they could they could add some thrill rides to the area with the restaurant, but yeah. we'll just see what they've got up their sleeve for now. Yeah. I love it when these midways feel alive with people. It's one of the best feelings. Even on a busy day when you're at Cedar Point and there's a large crowd, when these midways are alive with people and there's people everywhere, you know it's a good day. So we've decided that it is power hour. There's about two hours and 15 minutes until the park closes for the evening. We're gonna try to lap as many rides as possible and see how many rides we can get in for the rest of the evening. That's right. We've done, well, you've done Magnum and Iron Dragon today, right? Yes. Before I got here. And then when I got here, we've done Maverick, we've done Vengeance, and we have done uh, Rougarou. Rougarou. I don't know why I forgot that. First ride I ever operated, how could I forget? But with these last couple of hours that we are here, it's time to officially kick it into high gear and ride as much as possible to round out the evening. Honestly though, we've hit the biggest rides. We really, know? yeah, honestly, the, the three operating, or well, Not Maverick and Vengeance, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't say the three, but. Millennium Force, but, but the two that are going to have the longest, like consistently all day long. We did both we of those. So I would say that's already a success. Yeah. Now it's just time to get as many laps as possible and on as many rides as we possibly can for the remainder of the evening. Yeah. Right next to us here is where Wicked Twister once stood, at least where the entrance used to be. Yeah. You would walk right through here and then on the other side of this fence is where Wicked Twister's entrance was. And they are now, really I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Um, this is why I'm hoping they're not building another restaurant because I don't think this park needs another restaurant. We'll just see what they've got planned. What do you think? I think most of us don't think that this park needs another restaurant. I don't think this park needs another restaurant. Oh, look, they put Tiki Twirl back together. I know. I noticed that this morning. So that's something new from opening but day. it's not running. It's not running, but they did put it back together. If you watch the opening day vlog, Tiki Twirl was not put together. And that is the line to get on the Ferris wheel. No, thank you. I feel like they're trying to turn this whole midway into like a boardwalk sort of thing. Me too, but it's that's... The theme park predictions some more. You know, well, I'm just saying because, you know, they've, they've, there's a fence up 
where Wicked Twister used to stand, there's, it goes all the way out to the water. So I don't know what they're doing, honestly. I'm not, you know, I am a CP insider if you like us on Facebook, but I don't know anything more than you guys know. So we'll just have to see what they've got up their sleeve. I want to try Raptor. I don't you know. Try Raptor? I don't know. I kind of want to try Raptor. Raptor's your baby. But it is my baby, but I do. Magnum right the night end, so. That's true. On how long the line is. Yeah, let's check out how long the line is for Raptor and gauge it from there. But this midway is popping right now. I'll take a 30 minute wait for Raptor any day. <laughs> So obviously here it is, but you know, I got to ride Raptor every time I come to Cedar Point or it's not a complete day. So That's true. <laughs> at so least for me. 30 minutes is perfect because we can then vamoose to the back of the park. True and get some and Magnum. Magnum, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Every time I come to Cedar Point, I got to ride Raptor. It's a must do for me every single time. Looks like we made it in the line just in time because as soon as we got over there, this whole thing filled up with people all the way back there. I just know so many people on the Raptor crew. <laughs> I know like the whole Raptor crew this year. I'm you, you have I really do. I know literally like the whole crew this year. I guess we really got in line for Raptor at a good time because now the line is twice as long as it when we entered. It's so, <laughs> but it's like we said, a bunch of people are leaving for the day and this is one of the last rides you see on the way out of the park. So it's like everybody goes to it by the time these groups of people are leaving. Not many. Peace. <laughs> Everybody right now is walking out of the park. If you look behind us, there's a whole sea of people just leaving. But we're going the opposite direction to Magnum XL 200 we because we're Thuzies. We are going completely against the grain going to Magnum because all these people are leaving. So hopefully that means shorter lines for us at Mag. Yes, hopefully. So. <laughs> minutes. The thing I love about Magnum at night is the fact that it may or may not have a wait, and right now this looks to be about 10 minutes or so, so it's very, very doable. It's another ride that kind of earlier in the day will get a line, and it'll kind of peak around the afternoon, and then it'll die out in the evening. So this is a good ride to strategize in the evening or early in the day, but it usually runs a lot better in the evening. So this is when I would recommend coming to do it because it's been warmed up, it's running a bit faster, all that good stuff. <laughs> There's no such thing as a bad ride on Magnum, and you cannot convince me otherwise, no matter what Trent may tell you. I don't know. The Millennium Force only beats the hell out of you. I mean, yeah, that's fair, but <laughs> it's like the superior version of Millennium Force. It's just, it's so good it every single time. It's not the, oh, are you, what? It's so I just much blew better than Millennium Force. No. It is so much better than Millennium Force, 100%. <laughs> Still not as good as Raptor, but it's good. One last ride on the night on Millennium Force. It says voted best steel coaster in the world. I don't know how well I agree with that, but it's there.
The line says it's currently an hour long, but it is the end of the night. There's only about 10 minutes to go. So I guess we'll wait and see how long this actually takes. I don't want to say this is an hour. This is probably closer to like 10, 15 minutes, but we will see. Would it be a full day at Cedar Point if something you were waiting in line for didn't break down? But it's back up now. It so. is back up now. Yeah. So hopefully we can get on this time. So that was the last ride of the night on Millennium Force. And it's amazing. It is a fantastic coaster. It's just not like it's cracked up to be. I think it's way overhyped personally, but I know a lot of my coaster opinions are unpopular opinions and but hot takes. But number 14 is respectable. And I do prefer rides like Orion, Fury 325. There's all kinds of rides that I prefer over Millennium Force, but it's still a great ride. I respect it as the original Giga Coaster. Paved the way for a lot of coasters like it to be built. So without it, who knows what coasters would look like? Who knows what the Cedar Point Skyline would look like without it? You gotta pay respect to Millennium Force for sure. Oh yeah. But I mean, it, it kind of was responsible for the start of the Coaster Wars, wasn't it? Yeah, well, Magnum goes back to the original Coaster Wars, but more or less West. Coaster Wars are dead now, but this is still the biggest and baddest operating coaster at Cedar Point. You gotta respect it every time you come here. It's a must-do ride for sure. I definitely agree. 100%. Do you have anything to add? About what? Anything. I have no idea. No? We did seven rides tonight. Yeah. But just you did seven rides tonight. Yeah, I did and... nine rides tonight. We, <laughs> four of those was in the last two hours. Yeah, literally within the last two hours. Yeah, so crazy. it was a crazy night and it was really, really busy today when we first got here, but overall, like it was a successful day. So Well, it was, yeah, it was like nothing was open when we got here. So yeah, we walked true. around for like two hours before we were able to do anything. So yeah, that's part of the thing. What'd you think? Woo Tyler Gaskell. Woo -hoo! Tyler, how was it? Look at that Eastern European god coming down the steps right now. Let's try the best 404. 404. 404. 404. 404. For those that don't know, think I'm crazy over here saying numbers. I count my rides on Millennium. Lifetime, that was 404. How was that ride for you on Millennium Force, Bucko? Hey man, you know Millennium Force at night is like a whole different thing than Millennium Force in the morning. It's that actually, is very, very true. I've always said Millennium Force is one of the greatest during the day, but at night, that's when it earns that best steel coaster title. That, you know what? I would, I totally respect because that. The because the trains have warmed up, they're heavy as shit they're flying they're going that their is full speed like 100 true in every way i really need to find a restroom in pee before we leave but trent kind of headed out he's gonna wrap up his vlog so absolutely go check out his channel in the description below everything will be linked his instagram will be linked go check out this mother channel as well wait do you remember the last time you and i walked through that gate together i, I was don't. crying because it was the last ride of the season in 2019 you know what i think that's true go check out this guy he started up a YouTube channel as well. Not yet. I was supposed to start tomorrow, well, but well, I got scheduled. You got so. scheduled, but I will start, maybe start with the Kings Island video next week. <laughs> that's what's up. So we're on our way out of the park. I got to go home and do laundry. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Do you have any words to say to the viewers? Keep on keeping on and peace out. Keep on keeping on and peace out. Not yet. Like the video, subscribe, turn on my post notifications. I'm at Cedar Point all the time. This is my home park. I live 10 minutes away. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So if you like amusement parks, if you like Cedar Point, if you like roller coaster content, but if you like all that stuff, absolutely be sure to subscribe, turn on my post notifications so that you guys never miss a video. But until next time, this has been given. And Tyler. I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next one. Keep on keeping on and peace out. Oh, O, F. Valraven spells oof.